And it's so, it's so cliche, you know, everybody's gonna watch The Notebook, or everybody's gonna watch, uh, P.S. I Love You on Valentine's Day, or something like that. Screw that! Happy Monday, everybody! Welcome back to Hissy Fit. I have always loved Valentine's Day. I just love love, and although I do agree with the argument that you should show love every day, it is fun to just get a little bit ooey and gooey one day out of the year. Although I started this intro with I love Valentine's Day, there was a point in time when all the pink and all the chocolates and all the hearts made me a little bit sick. I still like the idea of Valentine's Day, but I guess it was like the cliche idea of Valentine's Day that I wasn't always into. This video is not an anti-Valentine's Day video, it's more of an anti traditional Valentine's Day video. Today I've got a few suggestions for you guys for how to celebrate Valentine's Day in not the super cliche and predictable way. Before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel and please keep on watching. I'm gonna start the video off with a few makeup suggestions because you guys know we love a bit of glam here on Hissy Fit. So the first thing is the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has become a huge cult favorite in the makeup community within the past few years that it came out. It's a warm tone palette, but what I love about it is that you can go from doing a really soft and romantic look to doing something that's a bit grungier and a little bit edgier. So no matter who you're getting glam for for Valentine's Day, you have the option of either keeping it soft or taking it in a different direction than most people do for Valentine's Day. And going off of that last statement, the next product I would suggest is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick, specifically in the shade Damned. This is such a fun and sexy color when it's applied correctly. Now that goes for any liquid lipstick. I'm not coming for anybody's makeup skills. Liquid lipsticks are hard, especially Kat Von D ones because they don't budge once they're on. But this is so much fun. A lot of people go for a typical pink gloss or a red liquid lipstick or something like that. So why not switch it up? And it's such a good formula. If you're a liquid lipstick enthusiast and you're trying to find the perfect formula that won't budge throughout the day, Give this guy a go in whatever color and I'm sure you'll be happy. Some people enjoy watching movies on Valentine's Day. Whether you're celebrating or not, you might want to pick something a little bit romantic. Maybe you're tired of The Notebook. I know I'm tired of The Notebook. And it's so, it's so cliche. You know, everybody's gonna watch The Notebook. Or everybody's gonna watch uh, P.S. I Love You on Valentine's Day or something like that. Screw that. My movie suggestion for Valentine's Day would be My Bloody Valentine. I'm particularly biased to the original just because I'm not a huge fan of remakes of movies, but the remake wasn't too bad. I saw it a few years ago and I mean it didn't knock my socks off. There's just something so nice and campy about an old horror film and the original My Bloody Valentine does it for me. So you get your nice Valentine's Day theme and you get a little bit of a uh, different direction with it if you will. And the final topic I want to touch on is date ideas for Valentine's Day. It is very traditional for men to take woman out, pay for her dinner, wine and diner, take her home, whatever else happens after that happens. But dating is so different nowadays and I would say that in the day and age that we live in, uh, it, traditional things are slowly starting to be redefined. So why not break the mold for Valentine's Day and if you're typically going to be on the receiving end of the dates or getting paid for or being taken out, why not switch that up and take your significant other out and treat him or her to something that maybe you guys don't normally do. You know what I mean? Almost like a role reversal for Valentine's Day. I mean, it's gonna be even better if your significant other is expecting to just have to do the regular formalities of Valentine's Day and then you go and hit him with a curveball and it's like, hey babe, I'm taking you out tonight. My other date ideas were to just completely almost do away with the idea of a date. If Valentine's Day is all about showing love, why not show love and appreciation to people that you normally wouldn't give it to. Go to an animal shelter and volunteer. Maybe down to a woman's shelter. I know that there's plenty of women that are probably feeling it a little extra hard in the positions that they may be in. Go down to the local children's hospital. Or show love to Mother Earth by going around, maybe picking up some trash. Maybe go out with your significant other or your friends, whoever you're celebrating Valentine's Day with, and plant a tree. I know it sounds so silly, but if you ask me, the person that needs love most nowadays is Mother Earth herself. But instead of buying into the whole consumerism Valentine's Day that everybody seems to hate and doing the whole traditional thing that lots of people are straying away from, go and show love to someone else or something else that you really want to contribute to. So this was short and sweet, just like the 24 hours of Valentine's Day typically is. I want to keep this as an open dialogue for everyone to discuss how they love, who they love, what they do to show love. So if you guys have any types of suggestions for dates, activities, anything like that, leave them down in the comments down below. That wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to Hissy Vid if you haven't already. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you next week in a new video. Bye.